So you want to play Guild of Guardians on your PC. Currently Guild of Guardians is a mobile only game available on the Google Play and the App Store, but there is a single way or a single easy way you can actually play the game on your PC right now. Now, obviously it should be noted that this cannot be used for malicious intent that is against the terms of service, but they don't have too many issues with people actually using Bluestacks to play the game. Reasons you might wanna do this include making content like myself, or you might actually want to play on PC because it's easier for you to do while you're doing your other work and things like that. You don't want to have your phone in front of you or you don't want to drown the battery life on that slowly over time. You want to just have it on your PC while you're doing your work or you're playing a different game or something like that, which is perfectly fine and perfectly natural for a lot of people that play these sorts of games. So I'm going to go through it now. It's very simple. Firstly, make sure you navigate over to the bluestacks.com website. Here you can download either Bluestacks 10 or Bluestacks 5. I tried to research what the differences between the two were and I came up a little bit blank. Basically all I learned was that Bluestacks 5 will run off of your PC and Bluestacks 10 supposedly uses cloud-based systems and things like that. I don't have proof either way if that's the case and it definitely needs to download the game onto your PC, I'm pretty sure. Um, but if you have a really powerful PC, Bluestacks 5 might be better. Even though I do, I use Bluestacks 10 and don't really have any issues. So I definitely recommend it. Just download Bluestacks 10, double click the EXE and open up the program. Once you're in Bluestacks, it will look just like this. You will have a search bar at the top, all the rest of it. This, uh, this interface is not that important. So we're gonna skip past this a little bit. Basically, you just wanna search for the game you wanna play. In our case, it's gonna be Guild of Guardians. And you can see that it is right here. We can go to the screen, see all the different information, just like if we were looking on this, similar to like a Google Play Store uh, visual or offering or whatever. It's gonna look just like that. Once you're ready, you just hit play on app player. And hopefully it boots up. All right, I'm gonna also gonna show you how this runs on Bluestacks as well. Now, it is gonna take a little while to initiate when you do this sort of thing. I don't know if clicking it just then broke it, should be fine. It says the name of the app player at the top and I'll show you how to change that in just a minute. But this is Bluestacks app player two. It's gonna log into my thing because I've already done all that. But if you haven't yet, you will need to log into your Google Play Store account, which is just like a Gmail or whatever. Um, and you will also have to log into your passport to play Guild of Guardians. Also, just as simple, you can use Google Login for pretty much both of these. So you can use Google Login across the board and get into Guild of Guardians. You can see that's how simple it was. I'm in the game, I click everywhere and it works. I can click Quest, for example, and it's gonna bring up the Quest, okay? Very, very simple. Here is the thing, interesting thing if it doesn't work. Right over here, you can see there's a little button right here that says multi-instance manager. You want to click that, okay? If you have issues, you wanna click that and you want to add an instance down at the bottom here. I believe it has to be an Android 11 instance to work. You can also go into settings and change the resolution and everything. I won't show you all of that today, but basically you go into instance and you do a fresh instance and then you choose the Android version. I don't know how well it works on any of these things, but I have been told that Android 11 works. That is what I'm using right now. It is working for me right now. That is what's most important. We take a quick look at the Bluestack settings, which are here somewhere down the bottom right there. We take a quick look. You can see the CPU allocation. I've got high in this case, four cores, making sure that it uses a lot of my computer's thing. Again, I thought it was using cloud-based, but I have no idea. That being said, I have more than four cores. So maybe this isn't actually using my computer's hardware, but rather um, hardware I'm allowed on my account. So maybe I could do two games at two cores, for example. But in this case, high is fine. Memory allocation. Um, again, I've got more than 12 gigabytes. So um, this is probably not using my hardware. And you make sure that you go on to high performance and everywhere. I'm not gonna save the changes because then I'll have to restart it. But you can enable all these settings here. They're really great. And um, you go to display, you can see the different settings that you have available to you. I might even record some videos in uh, 4K. It looks like I've got here or 2K. I actually quite like 2K. You've got all these other settings. So just go through it and do what you got to do. You can have it launch in full screen, all the rest of it as well. Very, very basic stuff. So let's show you how it actually runs on Bluestacks. I'm gonna click adventure. I don't think my team is ready to take on the next adventure, but we're gonna do go into it and do it anyways and see what happens. So we go into Ringstone Tower, which is just behind my head here. We click on that, we click start. We can add all of our different guardians to our team. I've got six guardians right now. And you just jump into it and play Guild of Guardians on your PC. It is just that simple. Like it's 
There's really <laughs> nothing else I can tell you about this. Download BlueStacks 10 from uh, the website, install it, run it, make sure it's an Android 11 instance. And I can click fight right here and pretty much just take on these little spiders and skeletons and things in the Guild of Guardians game. For anyone who's not familiar with the game, I have a guide out of all about the game and I have more videos coming. So please don't forget to subscribe and like the video so more people can see and get help with this. I know it's going to be a big question and always a big question when it comes to mobile games, especially for me because I'm not a very big mobile game guy. I am really enjoying Guild of Guardians, but I'm not a mobile guy in general. So... It's really helpful for me when I want to play these games, especially when I want to make content, to actually play it on PC. And it makes my life infinitely easier. You guys have no idea how painful it is to try and stream a mobile game from your phone. It's, it's a nightmare. <laughs> it's great for some people, I'm sure. But not only that, but all the resolutions and sizings are all wrong. You can see how nice this is right here. If we gain 20% attack speed. It all runs really clean too. I have had issues with BlueStacks sometimes where if the game is a little bit hard to run, BlueStacks will just crash out often. Um, I haven't used it a whole lot with Guildham Guardians yet, so I cannot promise that that won't happen. But you'll often notice the signs quite quickly. So right now it looks like it's quite stable, um, which gives me a lot of confidence in to the capabilities of BlueStacks running Guild of Guardians and the optimization the team has gone through. I know it's not perfect optimization, it's, it's in a beta after all, but they've done an excellent job and you can really tell from the way something runs on BlueStacks by how good a team has done at that sort of thing. So yeah, I'm not going to bore you with any more of that gameplay. Um, I'm going to make more videos to do with that sort of stuff so you'll be able to see it in the future. But I hope you guys learned something. And yeah, let me know how it went. Let me know if you guys managed to play it on PC and if it was easy for you.